Hello everyone, I'm here again. Bring just gonna finish up the final level, but first we are gonna go pick up the items up in the king's place. And as you can see, this place is really getting rolled over by water now. It's not looking too good. So we come up to the king. We talk to him saying that we could have not have done this with all of you, even though we're still gonna be underwater soon. So he asks us a lot to go to Prince Kamiya's room and we can loot all his stuff. He just like, take all my money. But yeah, there's really nothing that special there. But you just come along here, we go up. Um, where's that? There we go. And we just come over here. And there's two more little items. Snow staff, pretty crappy at this point. And we got a magic belt which increased our magic by 30. And now I am just gonna cut out here and just do one, like, two more levels of training to get a spell for each and every one of my guys, so see that. Okay, I'm back again and we are now gonna go to the final level Limbo. Let me just turn back on my cheat list here. Yes. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. And here we are. You can hear the music. It's very fitting for a little final level. I'm just putting on that cheat just in case I run into anything. And there. Let's get this chop clown and move right along. And the music changes after you go in here. So let's just heal. I'm gonna use you to heal because you have a lot of MP to spare. Now to turn off our cheats here because we're gonna go into a boss battle before the final boss. Just come on up and there he is again. The evil monster master. So now all we gotta do is give him all three of the items. He summons a Lionix. He was in that little area, or which you can't access normally in the Sky World, you can get them all there. And now I have to fight him to get on through. So he has a Giga Draco, a Centasaur, and a Guardian. It's not very, very difficult, but we are going to have to Screw them all over here. Okay, I'm gonna sidestep so Kick Draco can't hit me easily. And I need to stop Centasaur's spell. Because he can stop mine. So there. You got that? Okay, Guardian didn't get to do it. Dang it. Okay, yeah. He's gonna hit hard, and I mean a lot as well. Okay, we're gonna increase. Our stats here, okay, um, that's a good move to use here, uh, I'll still just go for all through. It's gonna be pretty difficult to take these guys out. Increase, 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 heal. Oh boy, oh boy, um, now I'm just gonna increase. Hustle. I'm gonna increase again this turn. Just want to keep my stats up as much as I possibly can, because that Giga Traco is gonna keep hitting hard. Okay, it's pretty much alright now, so just continue with throwing rocks. Boom, boom, boom. I believe they all have around 600 to something HP. Ow. Ow. Okay, now we can just start hitting them with anything we want. So we're just gonna hit them with the tidal wave and the rock throw, and this will easily be able to take them out. And I am still way under level than I should be.
But for the last fight, I'm gonna have to get a bit of money, because I'm gonna need a lot of world leads. Because that the final boss has Giga Slash, the strongest physical move in the game. It does at least 200. So I'm gonna be losing a lot of dudes to this guy. Okay, so we just keep continuing this flow and we should be fine. Boom, boom. One of these guys should die eventually. Most likely the Guardian, because I believe it has the lowest amount of HP on the team. Giga Drago being the highest. And of course, the Sendosaur having the mixed amount of HP. Okay, Sendosaur's dead, and Guardian's dead. Okay, now we just have to kill the Giga Draco, and we're good to go. Uh, yeah, let's continue with using that. Boom. Ugh, my throat's still acting up. Okay, and that's... that. Get some more level up here. And we should be fine to go face the final boss after I go to heal. It's to be the strongest monsters. Why? Why can't I beat your monsters? Because I am too good of a player. That is why. So, be right back. Okay, back here again, and we're gonna go face the final boss. As soon as we enter his castle. Just come up here. Defeat some enemies. Get the right amount of HP to do this, and... I've picked up nine uh, world leaves. So just in case I do die a couple times, I'll be fine. So here we go. Just come on up here. And there's a treasure chest with the thing in it, but he is obviously blocking. So here we go for the final boss. Says that I'm a true collector of items that are needed. But he only seems to get the items that give greed and envious this to the items itself. And he says he gains power from all that. So, here we go. We got this weird looking blob dude. And we are just gonna beat the living crap out of him. He has 4,000 HP, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, what should I do? What should I do? Can... I don't... Which does more to you? I can't do anything else to him except for using the moves. Okay, that's good then. Doing a lot more than I expected to do. And there's the Giga Slash already. Oh dear. See, look how much this dude can do. So we're just gonna use you to heal, and we're just gonna keep trying to kill this guy as fast as we can. As long as we can avoid the Giga Slash, we should be fine. And that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't have anything for that. Um, fire, rock. Okay, that's good, that's good. It's it's better to have him killed off like that. Oh my god, this is not going to be good if he keeps doing this. Oh my god, he just keeps using it! Okay, good. Okay, back to doing these moves again. Yeah, I'm just gonna use white fire with everyone. 
It's the only thing that's doing enough damage. Boom. Fire. Uh, of course. Wish there was a better way to keep... He does have D magic like the other guy did. So yeah. So just keep on hitting him. Oh my god, I hate it when they do this. Wish they weren't so affected by it. Okay, um... White fire, white fire. Burn. How much... Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, I still got at least five. Would you stop using that? Yeah, I'm done to my last four. This is not going to look good. I'm gonna cut it pretty close. White fire. White fire. Come on now. He's almost dead. I know I've at least done a lot to him. Doing at least 300 a turn. Oh, there's that Giga Slash again. Since I've never seen him use Giga Slash so many times. It's because everyone's on freaking focus. Fighting. And if he does another one, I'm gonna be screwed over. Oh my god, why do you keep using it? I don't understand. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm probably gonna lose. Especially if you keep trying to do that. Oh, oh god. God. Die, please. I'll see if I can actually curse him, might as well try. Almost dead, come on. Don't have that many healing items left. Especially if he keeps doing that. Oh my god. It's a lot harder when I don't have... Okay, there we go. Okay, I've lost just my dance, but... It's the sacrifice that needed to be made. No, you will not get up. <clears throat> and there we go. That's the final boss. There we go, and we get our little title and uh, er plug. And here we go. We get healed, all happy. All happy. And now we use it. It perfectly works, but it's kind of too late. And the island isn't looking too good. Not enough life force. And now he's freaking out and says that we should get the hell out of here. It's not looking very good for everyone. But then... We start getting life force to the plug. And where else would we be getting this life force? Well, we are getting it from all the worlds that we've helped. From each and every person. To help our world get better. So just enjoy this little amount of stuff, and now my dog's barking. 
I'm just gonna close the door so it can't leak through. There we go. So yeah. All these people dancing and having merriment and giving back our life force to our world. The envoy. The princess and all those people. Was it Queen Helen? Or Helena? I don't remember. And then we have these little two dudes, a big eye and a big roost. I see him and it's like, oh my god! Even though there's like zombies in, this, in the monster world, so I don't know why they're so scared of a ghost. That doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah. So here we go, we have all our energy back to the world. And then we get congratulated from all of the people in the world. And now all we gotta do is just have this little celebration thing. You can't go anywhere else except out this door. That's the ladder. And then we're greeted by Tara and the family saying that we've done such a good job to save. And now Warabu comes back, saying that it's not the end of our little quest, that there are many more worlds to ex that exist out there, and we can always go out and find them. And now, here's the credits. I'll probably, if I have enough guys, I'll probably have at least 50 by now. Why'd you have to attack Terra like that? What did she do? She was just saying there, you had the food. Yeah, because there's a little battle with Kamehameha after this if you have at least 50 dudes. And it's a tournament style, so I'll have to let my monsters do what they want to do. And from there, we just... We can go... He gives... He rewards us a key for beating him, and we can go to that world. And after beating us, I'm going to use up the 10 tiny medals to get the dark egg as you're normally supposed to do because you need a monster that the key master guy has near the top of gray tree and when he sees it he awards you with a key to test your might against the world well for, with your teams which i will be doing since i now have my perfect team going now well after I'm, after the credits so, I think I beat the game in under 8 hours, that's 3 times faster than I, I really expected to actually finish, but that's awesome. Um, I'm just gonna try to skip up to here. Okay, we have a little match here up against Terry from Dragon Warriors 1 with Wadabu against him. Wadaboo is actually a pretty good, very good monster. He's actually the creator of Great Tree and all the other great, um, gigantic floral life. Every time one of them is born, they are, they go and seek out a place where they can create a gigantic tree. Which is pretty awesome. And Warabu is just kind of the evil half of Wadabu. He's just the elemental spirit who kind of guards over it and is mischievous, as you can see from what you've seen in the game. So, yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff going on. I'm just going to skip up to the actual part because there's really nothing to see here. So we cornered them, but they were like, no, uh we're gonna do it, we're gonna jump, and they jump. And then we're like, oh, we're gonna jump too. No way, that's stupid. And 
here we are at the end. Oh, look, doesn't this look familiar? You saying that I should have the food since I've been stuck in that hole all day. And yet he faced all the other world's troubles. Everything it's like, Kame, Kamiya, you really didn't do that much. Well, at least that from what we've seen. I still don't understand how you managed to get to be the king and have the white orb. And yet, yeah, this all looks familiar. Shit's gonna go down again. And look at that. The end, dot 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 dot. And that be the end of the regular game. So now we can save. So here we are, let's just... Get the monster egg. That we need. So we just come here and we get the dark, dark egg. Dark egg. Whichever how you want to pronounce it. No, I don't want to go down there. We want to go in here, and I believe it's auto mail, so... That's pretty awesome. No. Well, actually, I still want to breed here, so... To get my last of my guys up and running, so... Yes, um... Dance Veggie. Where are you? Why does it say Evil Seed? Oh my god, are you serious? That's not supposed to be like that. Why is it not like that? But it's only... Oh my god. Why, 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 why? You're supposed to go to be Amberweed. Why does it have to be specifically the things I need to breed to get certain guys and it has to be completely something different? Okay, let's at least do it then. I'll just breed it again afterwards. Wait, why did I not get- What the hell? I picked up the thing. This is pissing me off. You saw me pick it up. Yes, I want to pick it up. See, I picked it up. Oh, cause I- That's why, okay. I had no room. Freaking retarded. Let's just get this dark. I'll name him as such. And. That will be that. Yes, I want dark with me. And there we go. Uh, we just return to right over here. Go up inside here and there's the guy with the stuff. Special key. So you show him the monster that he's never seen before and he lets you pass. And you get the brawn key. An amazing, amazing key. To go to fight the final guys from the game. The hardest dudes to ever fight. Now, I'm just gonna run down here. Um, deposit you and put him to sleep for now. Because I don't want him to be gaining levels for no reason. So here we are. Yes, I know, but you did not gain the experience and everything like that. You just click sleep, go down to dark. And now we have this little extra hole thing to come down here a lot quicker. So we don't have to run all the way through. 
Um, before I had you. <clears throat> um. We got to see what good guys we have left to breed you with. Got Saberman. Shit like that, Postral. So yeah, basically all the guys we have here are male. Right? Yeah, I'm just gonna breed it with you after, since you got a good, decent stats. <laughs> so I'll just make it a female. Then I'll just train it off screen and we'll be ready to go to the world afterwards. <clears throat> so let's just see. It's male, of course. We're not going to just breed with the actual amberweed, but we're not going to do that. Or should I? Because I don't know what happens if I would try to breed it with the golem. Because it could just want to... No, wait, it doesn't matter, because I already checked that. So, hatch. I'll just call you... Seed. Okay, and now I'll be cutting out. Oh god, why did I do that? Anyway, see you then.